the bell rings. Bibic, who took the elimination last week, is going to ride away to victory and is now a serious contender in this year's Champions League. He can sort of sit up here. Schmidbar is going to follow on behind. All the excitement is going to be whether they can reach Schmidbar for second place. It's celebration for Bibic who takes the win. Second goes to Schmidbar. And in third place there, that is Tobias Johansson of Denmark who takes those points in the race. Williams now at the front and making a concerted effort to try and go off and chase 20 points. Behind, it's Stenberg who leads the chase with Gillespie in there. Half a lap to go for the leaders, but they're starting to catch behind as the leaders start to tire. This could be a really close one as Williams comes back into the home straight. And Willie Williams is out there to take victory. She's going to take the lead very briefly, at least, in the Champions League. Second place going to Van Damme. Stenberg was in there. Gillespie was up there as well. Wow. Another big, big moment in the fight for the Champions League lead. And it's Lily Williams who turns up with her best form and takes victory in the scratch race. Yeah. Looks very strong on the bike. Lily Williams takes victory in Berlin. The scratch race is hers. Delight for the American. Coming through to take the bell, it's still Leverdeson out the front. Rudrick, if he has the power, he's where he wants to be. He's trying to put the power in as well. Goes up, dives down. He's onto the wheel, he's into the slipstream. Can he gain? It's still Leverdeson as he goes into those final two turns. Here they come into the home straight, but nobody whatsoever can get anywhere near Harry Leverdeson, who wins another sprint competition in the UCI Track Champions League. Job done once again for the man who just keeps winning. So fair play to, to Rudrick there for giving that a good go. But Harry LaFraison, once again, with the pressure on his shoulders, with that leader jersey, with everybody expecting him to get a win, he's done it once again. It's not been very watchful at all. They're underway quickly. They're halfway through it, in fact, coming up to the bell lap now as they come back into the home straight for the penultimate time. And in that black jersey, it is Elise Andrews, the Kieran World Champion, who takes the lead in this sprint competition. But Katie Marchant, who is back at a very high level, who left her a to the line to the very end in the semis coming back right at her it's Andrews though Andrews Andrews all the way to the line and it is a sprint victory in tonight's final for Elise Andrews who is looking like a Champions League superstar Elise Andrews is on absolute fire she has been so dominant throughout the racing this evening Marching gave her a really good run for her money there. You could just see her in that home straight and starting to come round Andrews, but Andrews was the stronger rider and really clear victory at the end there. So the bell hasn't even rung for the next elimination. Only now does it ring. Hester's attacks, and you've got the other two riders watching each other. Hashimoto suddenly has it all to do. And Titball is the rider who's trying to take him on now. But Hashimoto's coming from behind. Hesters is out there, and if he carries this on, he might well win the race. Hesters is through. Hashimoto's coming around. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Eya Hashimoto will fight for every single point. But tonight, it's all about a first win in this competition for young Jules Hesters of Belgium. So many strands. Where do you start with that one, Joe? Well, such a bold move there by Hester's going on the attack. We don't see that very often in, elim elim in elimination races. Yep, this is it. Final bell this time to see who's going to take the win in this elimination race. Katie Hart's won the at the moment, and that's, that's it. it. Race is done. Resistance is over. The elastic has snapped. Katie Archibald with a victory lap as she's applauded home in Berlin. She lost the lead. She was trailing by eight points, but in sensational style, storms right back to the top of the table. And Katie Archibald is where she was after round one at the top of the Champions League. And it's where she wants to be. And the crowd loved that. She is delighted. She loves this velodrome here in Berlin. She always performs well here. So at the whole rounds of every year, all seasons have been 11 elimination races. And you have won eight of that. How good is that, right? Yeah, it's very nice that we uh, don't have the others in dramatic fashion. I think that's how an elimination race can go. It's either uh, all in or all out. You don't want to be leaving, bashing your handlebars because your head went before yeah. your legs went. 
Um, and if my if my head stays there, my legs are usually good. There's a chance. One and a half laps to go now. Jakob Lev is coming round. Lavresen's making his move as the bell rings. It's still Richardson, though, who's trying to hang on. Lavresen taking off like a rocket, though, here. Into the back straight he goes. He's on another planet. He's playing his own game. Harry Lavresen, no one can touch him. That is a demonstration of all demonstrations. And Harry Lavresen making it look very easy indeed. And Lavresen looks, you know, not phased at all by this. Look at that celebration there. Two from two. Four from four now. And that's that. Oh, it hurts again. Aquatic have been the, the Kieran final, so almost a crash, but yeah. you on the back wheel. And how did you focus then again to your tactic and avoiding kind of crashes, you know? Like we were already speaking about it before the final, like yeah. it was chaotic last week. Yeah. Uh, this one was way more yeah. chaotic. Um, I think Richardson was really breaking it in the front and I, I also went up. Yeah. Just saw the guys in the and I thought, okay, I will just, I will, I will, I will wait, I will wait, because I, I already saw, I already saw them yeah, bumping into each other. Okay, I'll, I had a big gap, and I had like my main focus was okay with two laps to go, just go for it. Really tried to push into the right, of, like right into the guys, and I think I had a lot of overspeed going into the last lap. Massive was, overspeed, yeah. yeah. I, did, I, I didn't expect uh, this much of uh, overspeed. It was yeah, really, really cool to do it like this. They're gonna come.